We're going to go over quite a few things about um, how to get your delay lower, your FPS better, and, you know, your ping better as well. So basically the three big, like the big three of what you need for this game to run and work exactly how you want it. Like how all the pros have. Now all the pros live in certain servers, which is why their, their ping is as low as it is. But the delay in FPS is completely something else. Now we're going to talk about all of those. But first you got to start with, you know, in-game settings because this is a big one. So obviously full screen 1920 by 1080 even if you play stretch res um this should still say that vsync off whatever fps you'd like to run i have a 240 hertz monitor i've had it on 360 just because i like having it on 360 but 240 is what i do run i play performance mode 125 brightness and all of my things are on low um and then the only other settings that you should change is over here in the third tab go all the way down to um these energy savers and have both of these a thousand percent off you do not want those on at all now rec record replays does call it cause a little extra delay recommend having it off but this is fine as long as you don't have high quality replays on you're good um the video highlights off as well i don't want that so that is it for fortnite settings it's really simple easy to do there's not really much uh you need in fortnite settings in order for your pc to run how you want it to run and yeah so let's move on to some actual pc settings which we sh can just tab out and we're going to start with what you need for better ping now i'm on 8 ping for whatever 10 is fluctuating a little bit and that's my ping and i live in florida now i am on east now east is all the way east is like maybe 15 16 hours away to the servers and i'm on five ping and that is because gear up booster now if you'd like to try gear up booster uh the link is in the description if you download it join the discord and i'm giving away free memberships to whoever downloads it with my link now all you got to do is download it take a screenshot of this that you have it dm me and i'll send you a membership right away it takes me a few seconds to respond i might be streaming at the time so it might take me a little longer but i will see your message and i'll send it as soon as i see it so if you'd like a free membership to try this out on top of the free trial you already get for downloading it with my link let me know in the description now also gear up booster just added a new packet loss protection meaning you get no packet loss while using gear up booster it completely eliminates it and it keeps your ping as low as it possibly can so i highly recommend trying out gear up booster for free with the link in the description and i'll toss you a membership to top it off anyways let's move on to some other things that we could talk about now here's something that a lot of people have been asking me to go over and i just haven't really done it because i feel like it's extremely complicated and you don't necessarily need it unless you're on a low end pc now i do personally use this and i'll give you the best settings that i use now when you open up the video profile inspector which the link will be in the description to download this if you do not have it installed at the very top left where it says profiles you want to type in fortnite you want to spell it right um fortnite just like that and here we are with fortnite now i will also have this um for you guys as well so you open this import profiles i have one right here profile successfully imported now these are the settings that i recommend to all of you now I'll scroll down you don't have to import it yourself you can make your own and just copy these settings these are the best settings for you i'll explain some of this here in a second um as i scroll through this now that's pretty much it, it stops pretty much down here for settings being changed here and up so copy these settings exactly how i have them um and these are the best settings for fps now this will cause your game to look a little potato like but it's definitely worth it in the long run because you know better fps now to explain some of this basically the way this works is down here um you have a few settings now the closer you are to zero which is explained in pretty much any video you watch about the video profile inspector if they do it right the closer you are to zero the better quality you'll have now i think the best you can do uh, kind of a you know in the middle kind of thing is what i have right here the one point whatever um zero zero is i think by far the best now there's a few other youtubers that say the exact same thing and that's because it's just a really good you know in the middle kind of option for you now if you want to change it from here go ahead play around with it really ups you but i think anything higher than this your your game will start looking like really really bad so i recommend this and if you're like a content creator like you're posting videos but your pc doesn't really do the best fps this is good for you too because quality is still good enough to watch and it's decent and everything like that um up here now this i recommend putting this on one but if you're on a really low end pc use the 3d application setting um that is something you'll use if you're on a low end pc but mid to high end pc put it on one just like that that is it other than that all the other settings copy exactly how you like uh, how it is here 
and that is the best settings for fps now when changing this i run a perfect 360 in game and mine used to stutter around 240 well it's hard 240 but like 290 to like 320 it never really held 360 completely but now it does with these settings so this is definitely something i recommend it for all you guys have been asking me about my nvidia profile inspector uh here it is um, just for y'all if you need help setting any of these up just join the discord and i will help you guys out as well um, next, we'll move on to people that don't use NVIDIA Profile Inspector. We'll actually just go to NVIDIA Control Panel. This is something that I talk about in almost all my videos because I think a lot of people use this. But here are the best settings for NVIDIA Control Panel. Um, just copy these uh, exactly if this is all you use. These are the best for no delay, good FPS, and all kinds of stuff. Also, I'll talk about the best stretch res here in a second for um everything like that as well so there you go those settings right there next make sure that's configured surround something is set to your graphics card not your cpu or automatic so it doesn't go on your cpu and cause extra delay 1920 by 1080 is the res i play right now but 1720 by 1080 is by far the best stretch res for the game as a content creator uh if you want stretch res also want it to look good playable everything like that 1720 is like the sweet spot it's also what peterbot uses and you know just recommendation i'm not saying that just because peterbot uses it i'm saying it because it's genuinely a good stretch res to use um next you want to be on full screen um and you want this set to um this to gpu if you play stretch res um and i just got off stretch res so i never changed it i'm on native right now and it's still set to to that but um that is you know what it should be on and that is it for the nvidia settings now um and then obviously this should be set to um uh, performance so basically you go you click this bottom one go down here performance bam apply just like that so hit yes and there you go make sure that this is still on performance and you are set and ready to go for your nvidia settings everything else you know as i said should be like this next we're going to move on to some actual computer settings and if you go to taskbar settings we'll start here make sure you have task view off widgets off these are two big ones that you need off Another one is notifications. Now, this will automatically get turned on sometimes by Windows because they like going through and redoing your settings even though you changed them. So just make sure your settings are still off. So check notifications every once in a while. You want these off so your PC is not getting backed up with a bunch of different stuff. Next, startup apps. Now make sure you only have what you need. I have two things, my keyboard and my mouse. That's all I need open when I launch my PC. Everything else I can open myself if I want to. And that is because it causes extra delay now delay essentially is how many processes do you have on your pc which i have 149 while recording with a few things open in the background and that is fairly decent now the lower you get this the better delay you'll have which i've explained quite a few times but you want that low pretty much as low as you can get it for this next one you want to pull this up right here which is actually adjust the appearance which be right here adjust the appearance of whatever you want to hit custom you want to uncheck absolutely everything real quick let's uncheck all this and we want to do smooth edges of screen fonts show thumbnails and set up icons and then hit apply get let it let it work it's still a thing for a second hit okay there you go now when you drag stuff it looks like this and it just helps a little bit with fps delay and a few other things if you liked it how it was that is completely fine but personally i do this for performance wise and it you know helps quite a bit anyways let's move on to a few other things and that's actually in your settings so let's go to storage settings storage sensor right here make sure this is off we'll talk about how to clear your set errors temporary files and everything like that here in two seconds right so make sure storage settings storage sense is off next look up mouse this is a big one which in a minute we'll talk about another way to turn this off but a bit additional mouse settings pointer options make sure you have enhanced pointer precision off now this is mouse acceleration you don't want mouse acceleration that is not good for aiming it's really hard to build muscle memory in my discord we actually have a spot which is right here under tweaks there's text channels because a lot of you guys are having a hard time finding this it's tweaks right and if this you open it like this and because it, it might be closed and then you just go to youtube stuff and then right here we have everything we have a power config that you can use for higher performance and we have the actual command which is right here that we're going to talk about right now now this what this does is you right click this terminal admin yes and i promise you none of this is harmful to your computer if you want to look into any of it you can actually look up the person that made this himself he has his own youtube channel and it's actually just the literally the name of it right here right? chris um titus tech right just looked it up on youtube his channel will pop up we'll talk about how he made it everything that you should use and i recommend doing the you know the basics here and delete temporary files and 
st sticky keys off or the widgets off mass acceleration is right here as well and all this off just a quick way to clean out everything and also disable quite a few things you hit run tweaks i've already done this no need for me to do it again and it will show in the background right here that all tweaks have been ran now once they've been ran you're good you just close all of this it's done just like that there's no install no no nothing like that and it is done um next we'll go to power to the power plan and then you want to go on i recommend high performance now there is a um power plan in my discord as well sorry a lot of this is in my discord because it's just easy to do and you go to terminal admin once again you apply this in here just like that click enter bam power plan has been added right here power plan has been added right here ultimate performance um higher end pcs now you can do this on a lower end pc it's not really going to do much uh, do pretty much the same it does for me higher end pc ultimate performance there you go just like that now there is something i do want to talk about here's something i do want to talk about now i had uh you know a problem where this was happening to me now that's gonna be flashing for a second but basically my pc was doing this on anything full screens now this is my setup this is my pc everything like that it was doing this and i couldn't figure out why but if you're having this problem i now know why it was doing it so this right here now geforce experience now this is how i clip my games and everything so it's a little annoying that i can't use it is actually what was causing it having your instant replay on right now for some reason is causing the screens to flash on full screen applications like if you're watching youtube or anything like that so i recommend having this off for now because it is causing a little bit of problems until they you know fix it and you know everything is set set right now if that i couldn't find nothing that would explain why that was happening until you know i figured it out myself because it was just annoying me so yeah that is a huge help when it comes to um being able to run my game next we're going back on the chrome go into settings go to the um system use graphics acceleration when avail available you want to off relaunch boom it's off just like that we're gonna do the same thing with discord go into settings go to advanced hardware acceleration off okay boom hardware acceleration is off you want both of those off 100 percent, just like that and you are set because you know anything hardware accelerated is just not good in the background especially when you want your game to run at its best next we'll go to back of the settings system display graphics oh sorry graphics right here make sure you have all optimized for windows games off no need um and reduce latency to up to improve performance you can have this on or off i leave it on personally i'm not going to tell you to do anything with it because it doesn't change too much for me it's kind of like a setting that you can turn off or on and it doesn't really change much on your computer it's not really like a, a big big thing um game bar uh like controller open game bar have off you don't want that on next windows update make sure pc is always up to date that's obviously something you should do make sure it's up to date speaking of things being up to date we're gonna move on to your actual graphics card now i had somebody in my comments say you know try to like contradict what i was saying i was saying make sure your graphics card is always up to date and he was coming at me saying you're telling people to update their drivers when you don't even have the latest update i was like a day behind like this driver came out literally today i didn't have it updated and like i for some reason get like negative comments saying like I'm telling you guys to do stuff that I don't even do. <laughs> I just didn't really understand that. But make sure your graphics card is always up to date, which I'm doing right now as we speak. This dropped today. This is NVIDIA drivers. And um, yeah, make sure it's always up to date. I don't recommend using any old drivers, nothing like that. And matter of fact, the new drivers that have been coming out have been pretty decent for gaming. So I highly recommend, um, you know, using these for gaming. It's just something that you should do. Express installation, just like that. Click yes, and that little message pops up and let that install. And once this installs, once you launch Fortnite, your game will be a little skippy for a second, but it'll go right back to normal um, a little bit later. Uh, it takes a few minutes and you're good. When that's done, it's done. You can launch Fortnite just like that. Fortnite will load up perfectly. And if you've done absolutely everything we talked about today in this video, your game should be running a lot better. Better ping, better FPS, and better input delay. And now you can finally be next up for whatever tournament you want to compete in. Now, absolutely everything we talked about today is in my Discord. And you can get it all from YouTube stuff along with a few other things. Oops. 
as long as as, as well as uh, a few other things that you can um get from here my my youtube channel for some reason i put in youtube stuff even though you come from there um my garrett booster link um the tweak i use filter keys timer resolution the power plan a valid discord link if you want to share it to people um whatever you know you need is here and anything else that i get um i'll also be adding into this as well